Hey everyone, it's Lisa from Dane August Nails. Welcome back to my channel. Let's hop into the watch me work. So I've already prepped these nails, okay? We are going for a short tapered square and I'm using my bedazzled old Kalinske brush dipped in some alcohol to get rid of all that dust. Okay, people? And I'm going in with Mia Secret's dehydrator. Let's bone dry those nails. Two coats of Mia Secret Extra Bond and my advice to you, let it dry in between coats, okay? Just go with me on this. Go with me on this, okay? Um, and I will be using poly gel, so I'm going in with a very, very scraped upon the nails thin coat of Gershon's base coat. And I'll be carrying for 30 seconds. Now guys, I am doing my very, very, very good friend, little sister, supporter, like her nails because she's headed to Canada for college. And I was like, girl, fall nails. Okay, you're headed to the place that invented fall. Let's do it. So here I am going in with my own mix of Gershon's Cover Pink and Red Bean, just to sort of, you know, do a little, little nail bed, little, you know, skin tone color here. And I will be doing a full coat on the thumbnail, as well as I feel like, was it the ring finger? I can't really recall. I did this like August. I did this set like August. And so, yeah, so we'll just, we're, we're gonna learn what I did together. So I put that bead basically anywhere I want to put on the nail and I pushed that product up to the cuticle. I went to the center of the cuticle, then to the left of it and then down the left side wall and then back to the center, right side of the cuticle, down to the right side wall. And then I went and tried to focus as much of that product as I possibly could to the center of the nail, sort of like the apex area. And then I gave it a full cure for 60 seconds. Now people, it's, it's gel. Is it going to be hot? Yes. Yes, it will. Put your lamp on low heat mode. Pull that finger in. Push, pull it back out. You know, even like I've just, I've learned from someone, just have it, just the very light bit of ray hanging outside of the light. Just hang your finger there for a little bit until it stops singing. You'll be, you'll be all right. You'll be fine. Uh, yes, okay, okay, I see what we're doing now. The index finger is also going to be uh, a full cover of this mix. And um, yes, my version brush is coated with base coat. You have guessed correctly, ever so lightly. I don't want to make this product liquidy or anything because Gershon's uh, poly gel, it moves. It does, it, it moves a little bit. Yes, it, a, a lot of it, it moves. So now on the middle finger, I'm going to create an extended nail bed. These things are troublemakers regardless of the extension you're using, okay? Regardless of the enhancement, these things are troublemakers. But I will say they are easier with poly gel. Yes, they are. And then on the ring finger, on about half of the nail, I will be applying the um, mix as well of poly gel and I will be trying to refine that line. However, I do go in there with a nail file, sharpen it up a little bit, and then we're gonna be doing a little bit of nail art over that line. So don't even worry about it. Don't worry yourself about it. It'll all be fine. It'll all be fine. So you guys, fall is here. Halloween's coming up. It'll be Christmas soon. The heck is going on? These things are creeping up on you fast I say I hope you're prepared I'm prepared also y'all my birthday is coming up yeah September 24th I'm gonna do it up you know not really but sort of anyway I am taking some this is a mix I no, this is this is just model one's black I feel like 1343 black and I've gone around the smile line going down this line and then I'm taking some really beautiful glitter that I did not take shots of for this video but hey you guys are gonna be able to see a little bit of it. This is like this really like chameleon glitter. It gives you the blues, the greens, the blacks. And I'm using a bit of base coat to really push it into that line. And I'm gonna be doing the same thing on this half nail as well. And we're gonna be using three, maybe four shades of green because we're gonna be doing like a little, like a blend effect, like almost a three or four way blend. And then I'm also gonna do the same effect as I'm doing on the 
smile line and the half nail on the pinky so you'll be able to see that my kids are trying to get into the room and i'm just like get the heck away from me i'm trying to record so here we are in the pinky and i'm putting that you know just putting that in where i can put that in and i'm going in with another green this is a more leafy green i would say like summer day you pass some leaves and this is what it looks like so i'm adding a little bit of that and then here we come in with bursts of lime green you know really really bright neon even and we'll be adding little tiny flakes of this as well as hexes of this and that's going to be the blend guys all the way down to the nail and i'm going to be doing the same thing on the other hand except i'm going to be using like dark browns and dusty oranges and a neon orange it's oh it's gonna look so good i can't wait for you guys to see it i'm really happy with how this set turned out and um yeah so we've gone in with like i said the really dusty brown the dark brown we've gone in with a bit of a darker orange now we're going in with a lighter orange and some light hexes and yeah the only reason why i didn't show you this was a cat it was kind of repetitive also i didn't have best footage of this so yeah and then i cure for uh 30 seconds and so now i'm taking ibd builder gel and i will be encapsulating this glitter which is kind of tricky because it's not going to mattify or anything to let you know that you've covered it up you just got to be like oh my gosh I hope I covered them up. You gotta make sure that brush touches every inch of that glitter, but doesn't touch the skin. It's it's a, it's an ordeal. It's an ordeal. I think on some level I didn't put enough specifically on this nail, but um, she liked them, and I liked them, and she let me record them. So there you go. I'm gonna miss her. Look at how fat that smile line is. Oh my gosh, it was quite the bit of filing. It was a lot, but hey, better to have a really tall ledge than to not have any at all. And then you you know you're screwed. So here I am, same process on this one. Yeah, it looks like that nail is pregnant, doesn't it? Yeah. So I had pulled out these greens. I can't remember why, but um, she decided that she did not really want this nail bed color to show. So I had shown her these gel polishes that I pulled out. Like I pulled out one in or one in green and one in orange. And she was like, can you just cover the index, the thumb, and then like the half of that ring finger that we did? And I was like, yeah, dude, like these are your nails. Like I know like I'm doing this for you, but these are your nails and I want you to be happy about them. So yeah, what I'm doing here, I will be doing on the other hand, just in orange. And as you can see, I filed that, um, that pregnant nail right down. Yeah, it had the baby. They're both, they're both uh, healthy and uh, yeah. So here I am applying the orange. So um, if you haven't liked the video already, I don't know, maybe, they, I don't know, do it. Yeah, try it, try, try it try and like the video i'd appreciate it leaves me a comment what would you think would you have liked to be gifted these nails upon entering college yeah me too so now i'm taking my liner brush and i'm you know what this is a liner brush and a detail brush depending on what i'm using it for but i'm taking my liner brush and it's dipped in my favorite mixture of model one's black and model one solid cream and black and i am refining that line because did I polish it the best? Did I file it the best? Who knows? And also, who cares? This is what nail polish, gel polish is for. And this is what art is for, okay? And so now I am top coating with cushion. So top coat time means it's the end of the video. I am so happy that it's fall. You know, specifically because my birthday, yes. But also because, I mean, come on now, guys. You can do all these awesome things in fall who am I kidding you can do all these awesome things anytime so um top coat time I mean it's the end of the video and um I gotta sign off so um follow me on social media
um, like, comment, share, consider subscribing. I don't know. If you've been considering it for a while, maybe you should just do it. You know? Uh, put an old gal out of her misery. Just do it. Um, look forward to the products list below, as well as a video and picture of the finished look. And I really hope you guys liked it. I love you, and I promise to see you in the next one. Bye, guys.